everybody, my name is Paget, and today I will be teaching you the best way to make millions of credits daily on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic in 2020 coming right up. So today we're going to start off on my Gunslinger Pogan which is my main credits character on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and I'm going to show you the first step that I take every week towards making millions of credits and the first step that I take is my conquest so if you press L or you go into your mission log at the top here mission log and you go into this little section here called conquest as you can see conquest is a guild reward from achieving special missions and achieving 50,000 points every week so you have a personal goal and you have a guild goal depending on if you have a flagship or not so as you can see I've completed my 50,000 this week so I will get my two resource matrices and my 25k credit certificate which is about yeah just about a million credits that is just for one character this week and I have my guild invasions my guilds opted to do a small yield this week not sure why we've done a small yield, we normally hit the medium yield, but um, yeah, we're currently building this guild up, so if anybody wants to join, come and join Nightmare Lands, we're a very proud guild, and we do actually talk, and we have a discord, and we do try and keep each other together, and sociable, a very, very friendly guild, I've also joined them to help build them up, so as you can see, we have surpassed our 500,000 score that we needed to get, so we will get our two extra solid resource matrixes at the end of the week and our 50k credit certificate and if you're a lower level player and your guild is very high up and they don't need as many of these um, you can also get these and sell these on the GTN as well for I think it's about an extra 300,000 credits currently on the GTN every single week um, so if you're in a guild you can make from 2.2 mil to 4 mil a week depending on which yield your guild goes for and if you're on your own you make about 1.2 mil a week depending on GTN prices when you have reached Odessan around about level 75 you will unlock daily heroics and alliance contacts such as Bay One Igo Hilo Viz, Juvad Vilip Ogarab, and Sana Ray. They are all tied together. When you complete the daily heroics, you collect level 75 gear while you do the heroics. Um, you will collect credits from the corpses, plus the 22k you get from completing each individual heroic, looking from around 110k to 150k per every 5 heroics, depending on how much you pick up. Each heroic will give you locked supply crates, which can give to the con which you can give to the contacts mentioned earlier so if I just quickly show you guys I have picked up three heroics from Hutter and as you can see here there's the 22k and here's the locked supply crates with the alien research now in return the specialists as you can see if I go into the contacts I will show you to them as you can see here they are these contacts will give you unique will give well will give you special crates with special unique armor and companion gifts now the only part that we should care about in this video is the companion gifts because they sell on the GTN from anywhere between 90k and 200k each currently on the GTN and that is the gold companion gifts that you are looking for after you have done this you can reverse engineer the armor that you have collected your, that you have collected throughout the daily heroics into three items very much needed each of which are very important and have their own role so now if I quickly show you what I'm on about I am on about the premium Jara scrap you want to swap for crafting materials to make your arm rings mods enhancements and assembly components now the most important one there is the assembly components guys and this is the most important Jara junk that you are going to want out of all of them saving you from scavenging them and costing you credits so now if we move on to the next one the scrapped prototype assorted droid parts use these to get materials for crafting or to sell on the GTN 
Now, this one really depends on where you want to go. If you want to make your arm rings, mods, and enhancements, I would go the route of selling. No, not to go. In, I would go the route of going to the Jawas and getting materials instead of spending your credits collecting them and buying them from the GTN really so you're saving yourself a lot of credits there but if you want the quick turnover I would just swap them for materials and sell the materials because you can get quite a few materials from this as well and just sell them now this is the least Java well Java scrap that I use I don't use this one that much to be fair now the one that I do use a lot of as well is the Java junk artifact which is the one next to it the purple one now this one I use for making armorings mods and enhancements and getting the better versions of them and selling them on the GTN for that little bit more money. You can once again use these for materials to sell on the GTN if you sell them at a reasonable price. But if you aren't going to sell them at a reasonable price, this isn't something for you. But this is also the way for a quick turnover. So if you want a quick return, if you want a quick return, um, sell the materials on the GTN. If you want more of a hefty return, but takes a little bit more time, a little bit more effort then I would go down the route of making armorings, mods and enhancements with the materials. Now the most important one out of all of this is the assembly components as I will show you here as I will get Gus to show you. Now these, if I go by rating, now these I would not make past grade 6 assembly components as it becomes very difficult to then sell them on the GTN do not overprice these. Now I make a lot of these, I make about 5,000 of these a week and these are very very profitable. These are the things that I make the most credits on every week. I probably make about 10, 20 mil a week just on these alone. Um, but once again do not follow GTN prices. Now GTN prices are probably around 20, 30k for these. I would go for around uh, grade 6 about 8k per piece for every 100 800k and for the desk ones very quick very easy to make especially if you've got a level 50 companion it takes about seven seconds to make I believe yeah there it is seven seconds per one uh, you can make about a thousand two thousand of these very quickly sell them for about four five K each that's 400 500 K per hundred so for a thousand that's four mil that's a quick and easy four mil that you can make within a matter of a day. And it takes about two days to sell but once again that's four million credits that you've gotten from minimal effort just reverse engineering level 75 armor getting the the green Java junk and just turning it into this and it's a very cheap very quick method and you can make a lot of credits from this um, earning you from around yeah and like I've written down 400k to 800k per 100 um, maybe a little bit less than that maybe a little bit more depending on how much you've spent on flux depending on how much how much um, armor you actually picked up and reverse engineered um, but yeah it kind of just falls onto you on how much you've actually collected so today we have crossed over six of the best ways to make armor in this game so making armorings mods and enhancements is number one number two is your conquest and guild conquest rewards your daily heroics which you can make about 150k on for every five heroics you do locked supply crates for getting the companion gifts and if i just quickly show you that you open one of these that you get from the um those people we're gonna get a gold one hopefully so yeah the purple one will do the purple one for sell for probably about 50k each and if you get gold ones obviously 100k 200k so that's really good as well the jar of scrap getting the materials and selling them or using the materials to save you money on your crafting and the most important one the assembly components which is the one you're going to make the most money on so guys if you enjoyed my first video on youtube and let me know down in the comments if you even make money from these tips i've just given you and the way that i make money um, and then leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below and let me know how many credits you made or if you did make more credits than usual this week I would love to hear from you guys and find out if you did make more credits and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace